So this is my ring collection. In total, I have 25 rings. And Tom Brady, I got more than you. Zane's a different kid. I mean, the way he surveys the field, the way he looks at certain play scenarios. Muhammad Sanu, the wide receiver for the 49ers at one point, I mean, he was inboxing back and forth to us and him saying, man, great job, champ. It's repetition, it's organic, you know, and the fact that he wants to do the work, the fact that his work ethic is great, the fact that he absorbs and retains information, crazy. You got grown men that don't do that. My name is Zay Muhammad. I play quarterback. I've been playing football for like four to five years. My job as a quarterback is to keep the team focused and to be a leader and to get the ball to the receivers. Whenever I got interested was watching people play football and watching my older brother play football and that interests me into trying it. I wake up, I brush my teeth, I get ready for school, and then after school, I go to Coach Face, and then I have to go to my football practice. My name is Larry S. Weathers Jr. I've been in Zane's life since he was literally two to three years old. I am his speed coach, I am his conditioning coach, I am his skill sets coach, and we work on just mentorship and an extra father figure at, at, at the end of the day. All oh, this doesn't matter if I don't love him. Push. There you go, push, there you go, come on. There you go, good job. Zane right now was working on his functional work, his sprint work, his jump complex work, and then we stop the situation and then we work on our skill set work, then I individualize it. So everything in reverse transition and these words that I use goes directly into all of whatever he's gonna do in life. Training is hard because you have to take it like at 110% so you don't like slack off. He wants to work. He wants to work. He's able to absorb information quickly. You know, that's, that's a whole different thing. It's really important to train because, so whenever like you're in live game, you can use all the stuff that you learn and put it in. Sometimes like you could actually like make it work, but sometimes you might have mistakes and that's fine if you have mistakes. My dad is my coach also, and he's like on and off the field. So he's like my coach and then my dad. My name is Ebony Charles and I'm Zane's mom. My name is Wally Muhammad, AKA Coach Wallow, and I'm Zane's dad. When he was six, he started throwing the football with his brother. We were like, man, okay, Zane's starting to get a little zany with it. I love how I get to throw the ball. I get to like tell them the plays and I get to have fun. He threw his bottle an incredibly long way as a kid. Everybody thought I was crazy. They said, man, he, he's special, he's got a gift. James Jones, the NFL analyst, he came and watched him play in Orlando a couple of years back when we won a, our first national championship. It's just been uphill from there. You know, visiting camps and visiting schools and Bijan, taking pictures with Arch Manning at Coach Kenny Vaccaro, you know, invites us to, you know, this pro week. And he said, man, Zane's got something, you know, special. My binky is probably the biggest thing on the field, like for me, because whenever people see me wearing it, then they'll automatically notice. Oh my gosh, it's Zane. And so I like to play video games with my friends, and I like to do some family time, go to the movies, and go to my friend's house. I'm really proud that Zane is who he is. He's very humble, he's very kind, he's very sweet, he's very loving, and with everything that he's been through so far, I just know that he's gonna be able to overcome anything. He, there's local leagues right now that he can't play in and it's sad because of who he is and his abilities. We're having to drive, you know, almost two hours out the way for him to even play places. But you know what? That's a sacrifice that we'll take as his parents. So this is like what adds fuel to his fire. This is what makes sure he doesn't take a day off. These are my trophies. This is for nationals in Las Vegas. One of my favorite trophies, one of them. This is World 2022. It's like if somebody were sitting on a throne right here. My favorite of all trophies is this one from Seven on Seven. This is probably the biggest and the shiniest one. 
My dreams is to try to make it to the NFL and to have good schoolwork and stuff. No days off to me is like you don't take like no days off. Like you keep working and you have it like 100%. You keep rolling and rolling and rolling. You're watching No Days Off, only on Whistle. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out other No Days Off episodes.